Jake, take your baby. Jake, take your baby. You want to take this one with you? Trying to figure out what baby he wants to take to grandma and grandpa's. Take your baby. I'm gonna hold up a few. You know which one? <laughs> which He's, baby? He do you wants want? all of them. What, do you want to take your hot dog? This seems to be the one that's least ripped. I think we'll bring the hot dog. You want to bring the hot dog? Yeah, we'll bring the hot dog. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <coughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good morning everybody, welcome to Vlogmas Day 24. You know I haven't been doing them too much, but I've been really kind of not doing a lot. So it didn't really warrant doing one day per, per vlog. So we've just been like combining them. I hope that's okay. I hope no one minds, but well, eh, I'm sure no one really cares. But packing up the car, getting ready to go still doing a lot more I will update you see you in a minute we're on the road it's Christmas time Just hear those the corgi is back here hi Jake there he is pooping he's pooping traffic's not bad yay goodbye dear cat We had a very eventful journey here that we, I will do a little story time later tonight and tell you about. It was weird, to say the least. So look forward to that, but in the meantime, look at the tree! You know, there was a man sitting in front of that yesterday. He was Santa and no one was there. No luck to Say so. Well, I need to. Look at Gigi's Christmas present. Oh my gosh, that's a cute little camera. Yeah. What the heck? I just took some Tylenol. That's cute. Yeah. <coughs> okay, Santa. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. Go ahead. You want to be Santa's helper? That's stupid. And when you press the button, it goes jingle, 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 jingle. Oh, push cyber head in. I was trying. Don't worry. Okay. Batteries might be dead. Oh, this one's for Jake. Ooh, something has a present. Where's old Jakey's? Right here. Want to get up close with this one? Yeah, 
<gasps> Is that a present for you? Yeah. You get the first Christmas. It's Christmas. You get your first Christmas. Christmas. I know. We you gotta, gotta wait. wait. We gotta wait. Look at him. He's, He's like, like, but I, I wanna, wanna do. I wanna do. In a minute. He's like, what the heck? That's so fun. I know. Jeez. Maybe we can start chewing in a little bit. Start some chewing. What are you doing? Ah, Karma got you. What's the difference? I'm zooming. Happy Christmas, Jake. Come oh, on. I'll help you. Open it up. Open it. Get it, Jake. There you go. Yeah, good boy. Rip that Watch thing open. Here. You want to sit here, Mom? I'm okay. There you go. Whoa, 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 Get it, get it, get it. Yeah, rip it open, Jake. Ready, set, Christmas. Ooh, look at that, whoa. Bubba. Whoa. Is that a pizza? What is that? <gasps> what is it? Is that a tennis ball? Wow. What's this, Jake? Is that a big old chew toy? It's a chew bone. Do you like it? Oh boy. Do you want to try it? <laughs> Look at that pizza, Jake. Look at it. Oh, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, sure. I think he smells this for like ever. Oh, maybe through the box. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big old chew stick. Oh, <laughs> we might have to watch him. Jake. Look, Look at him. He's happy. No, it's just for him to chew on it. It's he's had the smaller ones before. This is just a big version. You're shivering. Yeah. No. Well, let's get more. Oh boy. Got a little pudding cat on there. Surprise! Yeah, Mom goes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. He was like, what? Mom's like, okay. This is yeah. perfect for me. It's, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like, I can, yeah. Oh, boy, what'd you get? What'd you get? Oh. This is darling. <laughs> you thought that was fun. You went, oh, my computer. Oh, thanks. Mom goes, oh, God. Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you. <coughs> hey, it's the birthday! Hey! Wow, wow that's, that's nice. That's the that's size. The of, that's the size of it. It's not a huge one. Yeah, I like the small. Oh, yeah, yeah that's. That's, that's the size that, yeah. yeah. How nice. I thought it was going to be bigger, but that's it. Perfect. Dunhill yeah. Blue. You're good. Wow. I like the studs. Yeah, me too. I like the black. That's yes. pretty. It's a nice case. Yeah. The black is really nice. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a drinky bottle. Yeah. Canteen. Now I can switch out. Purse or backpack. Well, yeah, you don't have to carry that other little big one. <coughs> Ooh, what is it? Who's it from? Oh, you know what? Hold on. <coughs> this is a perfect size. That's nice. It's just about time my son got me a present I actually want. Took a while. <laughs> I'm gonna get another one. No, I am. Because uh, we can, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no. <coughs> what happened? <coughs> she said I'm wrapped. What? Come on. <laughs> no way. All right, got the right one. Wow, Ruth, open the box. No. Got the right one? We got the right one. What is that? Or did we? Is this your little one? 
to entertain. Entertain. Do <laughs> you like the design? Yes, I love square plates. Oh. Jake, we they're hear you. They're platters, honey. They're not plates. They serve food. Thank you. Okay. Now, um, is there another one for Jake? I'm trying to find one. <laughs> Jake's like, hey, look at mine. No, that's, no. Down here. So, so this one is from Santa. <laughs> <A little hand. laughs> Oh, more red. Ooh. Oh, oh look at that. that's nice. Oh, 
boy. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. With the imperial logo. Yeah. This will be nice for like. It's just a light it's like little a, thing. Like a jogging jacket. Yeah, it's light. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Thank you, Santa. And Gigi's holding her Christmas present too. Yeah. <laughs> Touch any of the other stuff. Uh-huh. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes. <laughs> hey everybody. Hello from our hotel room. So it's December 26th. Christmas is officially over. You know, it was super nice. Spending time with his family is always really nice. Spending time with him. It was a very nice holiday and I'm very happy. I remember... <laughs> what are you looking <laughs> I didn't know if you were recording me. No. <laughs> so, yesterday, I told you guys that I was going to sit down and tell you something that happened on our way here. Um, I, I decided to wait until you know, after after the holidays and after, you know, I've had time to sleep on it. And I just, I feel like I need to get get the word out of, you know, just, just how to be safe in a situation like this. It, it, because, you know, I, I couldn't sleep last night very well. I, I kept waking up thinking about it, just confused. And it's scary. So we were on the road coming here and there was not a lot of traffic it was pretty dead it was a really it was actually a really nice day to drive there wasn't too many people out you know christmas eve everyone's already at their destination so you don't really think about you know there's not that many people out so we were just really enjoying you know cruising having a nice time we were listening to the h3 podcast everything was really good you know we were both really happy and up and in a good mood and so this car what just appeared behind us elliot was driving um this car came up behind us you know you don't you don't think much of it because like like he's always told me cars will travel in a pack and they you know they want to stay with a certain group which is fine they they're, they're traveling together they're all going around the same area that's fine but this one was a little different so we were going the speed limit. So was he, and he was just right behind us, like tailing us. So, you know, Elliot moved over to let the guy pass because obviously he's in a hurry or something. And as, as we switched lanes, he immediately changed lanes and went right behind us again. And, you know, I mean, when the first time when that happens, you're like, oh, well maybe, 
maybe their ex is coming up. Maybe they were trying to get out of the way, you know, maybe it was a miscommunication. And so he switched back into the lane that he was originally in and the guy immediately switched into that lane as well. Well, that's when it got a little weird. I was doing, you know, I was putting my nails on. I, at first didn't really think too much of it until it started getting kind of aggressive. We would switch lanes. We were switching back and forth, trying to, you know, kind of shake him off. Maybe he like was zoned out, I'm not sure. But, you know, we switched back and forth and every time he'd come follow back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. And at that point it got kind of scary. And, you know, he, we went behind a diesel truck to slow down enough that it would be annoying to be behind us at that point, you know? We were going like 40 miles an hour on a freeway where the speed limit's 70. No one's gonna wanna be behind you. They're gonna wanna, you know, take off. So we did that and he still immediately was right behind us, going right along with us, following the entire time. And that's when we started to get kind of panicked and we got kind of scared. I mean, well, at least I've got really panicked. Luckily, you know, um, he's dealt with stuff like this before because, you know, people are aggressive, they get road rage, it, it just happens, it's bound to happen. But, you know, we he called 911, which is what you're, you should always do. If, if you ever don't feel safe and you feel like something something's happening to you or, you know, you see someone either recklessly driving or, you know, purposely following you or just, Anything that seems really just, you get a bad feeling about it like this, like don't don't ever hesitate to call Highway Patrol or 911 or anyone with an authority. It's, it's better to be safe than sorry, to say the least. And well, we, we called and they, you know, you know, 911 is like, oh, let me get you to this dispatch, let me get you to this dispatch. And, it only took the span of 10 seconds, but in that 10 seconds, I could feel my anxiety just going up, 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 up. And it just, it it was very, very nerve wracking. And we got on the phone with the person we were supposed to talk to through them. And they were like, oh, well, did you do anything that you might've like made this guy angry or something? And you know, we were pretty sure we didn't, but you know, accidents can happen. Maybe, you know, we stopped a certain way or maybe uh, we drove too slow for him at one point and he just didn't like it. Uh, the possibilities are endless but for the most part we're, we're pretty boring drivers. We do the speed limit and we stay in one lane. People pass us like I don't I don't really know what we could have done but you know you never know accidents happen and so the the dispatch yeah the dispatch um, had us get off at this random exit because there was a like a police station type of thing. And we get off and he goes off to the exit with us. And that's when I freaked out. That's when I knew like, okay, that this guy is following us. Like there's no way. And we turned, we followed the directions. They, somehow, I think they gave us the wrong directions because the station was on, opposite way that we turned so it was still like you could see it but it was the other side of the road and you know we, we when we took the exit and he followed us he slowed down drastically after we got off the exit and he was like he went from being this close to about like you know this far away and then you know 20 car lengths far away and it got me it, it looked like he kind of either like realized like, what am I doing? Why am I following somebody? Because I'm angry, like I'm, this is stupid. And he turned around and left. Or, I mean, maybe a cop saw him or he saw a cop got scared and turned around. I'm not sure what his intentions were. And I think that's what scared me the most and scared us the most is we didn't know what his intentions were. We don't know where he went. We don't know who he is. We don't know where he is. We don't know if they caught him. We don't know what he had in his mind when he was following us. And that's the scary part because this happens 
so much, especially to women, especially to women at night. Luckily, it was, you know, it wasn't just me in the car. It was both of us and it was, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning or whatever time it was, I'm not sure, but it was daytime. And it happened so much. I was reading on Reddit after this had happened before bed, you know, that's gonna help. I was reading on Reddit and this happened crazy. It's, it, especially around this time of year, around Christmas, it's, you know, carjackings, you know, murders, things like that, they can all happen in this, in this time. And I never thought that out of the, you know, billions of people that are on the road every day, that an encounter like this would happen to me. But that just goes to show it can happen to anyone. And we, I believe, did very well. We handled it very well. I mean, I give all the credit to Elliot because I couldn't handle it in the slightest. I was freaked out. I've never experienced that before. And it scared me. It really scared me. And I, I just wanted to tell the story and I wanted to you know, take a moment and say, like, well, I guess say again, like, if anything, if you're ever on the road and, you know, something feels wrong and somebody's, somebody's near you or they're just kind of giving you a weird vibe and they're following you or they're too close to you or they're endangering you or others, like, at one point, we tried to put traffic in between us and this guy floored it and got right back behind us as soon as he could. Like that's, in, that's not only endangering us, but that's now endangering tons of people that are on the road at that time. And that's what's, that's the scary thing is, if somebody's ever endangering you or endangering somebody else on the road or just putting people at risk, that's, that's scary. So if, if you're ever in a situation like that, please, please don't hesitate, call 911. Get a hold of the person you need to get a hold of through there. Follow their directions to a T, but make sure if you can, if you're not too panicked or if you have somebody else in the car with you and if you're on the phone with a, like a, a dispatch and they give you directions to go somewhere, just double check in Google Maps if you can because that's what we didn't do. We were in the moment, we were very scared. We didn't think to check where the police station was, where we were going. We just followed the directions, but you know, people can get mixed up. Like, I think they might have gotten mixed up with us. So just make sure if you're ever in a situation like that and you feel unsafe, don't hesitate. Call 911. Try to Google Maps where you're going on your phone. If you have somebody else with you, don't. If you're, if you're the one driving, obviously don't open your phone more than you have to. Just try to keep a calm head in the situation, I guess, is what I'm trying to say as much as you can, because I know it's hard. I couldn't, I, I froze up. I was so scared. And just, I just want people to know that when things like this happen, it's terrifying, but I feel as long as the word gets out of how you can be safe, we can keep everybody else safe, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm sorry if it was kind of boring, but I just wanted to, to, to ex explain the story because I, I said I was going to and it was it was a, it was a scary but very learning experience for me and I'm glad that you know nothing happened. I'm glad that we're safe and everybody's safe and nobody on the road got hurt that I know I don't think anyone ever did because there was never any reports or anything but I'm glad that things worked out the way they did and things are safe and we're safe and I'm able to tell this story. So thanks guys for listening to this 12 minute story about being followed and I hope you all had a really great Christmas and spending time with your families or friends or anyone you care about and I hope you guys have a really good New Year's and I will See you soon. I'm gonna upload probably a New Year's video, of course, and some more going along the lines, but it'll probably be mashed together. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Good night.